is up my triple g o g s okay so <clears throat> y'all i was getting some channel messages all right so let me go to it real quick so the channel song that i had was mo money more problems by diddy all right so um the more money we come in life, the more problems we see. So that's the song that I was trying to listen. So I personally feel like that it's a lot of money coming to the collective. So, okay, that's confirmation. Some of y'all may need to get a carnelian, a carnelian crystal. All right, but so I was guided to, um, my little sister had bought me some of these incense money drawing incense thank you to her if you're watching this sis thank you sis period but um so yeah and i i just burnt some of those all right well i burnt one of those and i was guided to you know do a ritual for you guys all right so this is ancestor money all right and i wrote you know things on the inside all right and you know for you guys to um, Okay, period. Release any, you know, call in money to you. Release any type of stagnation around your money, around your finances, your business, your career, whatever it is, all right, to call money in to you guys, all right? Also, you know, good money management and, you know, because you can make a lot of money, but it's about money management, how you keep money, how you save money. Spending money the correct way, all right? And, you know, more money, more problems. So, you know, the more money you get, the, the more you want to upgrade, the more things are going to be, all right? So, it's like, you know, just being aware of money, the energy of money, how it works. Building a good bond, a good connection with money. So, if you consent to this, say, I consent, I do, I accept, put it in the comments, I receive these blessings all right so this is ancestor money i'm about to burn this for y'all and then i'm gonna get into the reading so we're gonna do that all right there we're gonna let that do its thing okay period yeah, so removing stagnation. The flame is flickering right now. Removing that stagnation around your money, all right, so things can flow into you easily and effortlessly and consistently, period. All right, so, you know, let's get into it. Spirit, guys, angels, ancestors, send me love, light, and clarity. And my, me personally, I like to make sure that it's all... You know, getting up, getting up in now. So, you know, we got to get that up in now. Period. Okay. Spirit, you guys, angels, ancestors, sending me love, light, and clarity. These ones to come out, so I'm going to take them. Send me love, light, and clarity. Please come through. God of my higher self, please come through. Give me clear, honest messages. Archangel Michael, please come through and protect me when I channel the message for my triple GOGs. Okay, we have this. So, yes, ending to stagnation around money, ending to... You know, just bad habits, all right? Bad habits around money, bad habits in general. But because, you know, when you invest into some type of bad habit, some type of toxic habit, most likely, you know, you're spending your money on it. So let's see, Holy Spirit. We have altercation, cash flow. Look, I can't make this shit up. Skeletons, new line of study, and a new view here. So, yes, I feel like with this altercation, I feel like this is an internal battle, an internal fight with self, all right? Even with your ancestors. You know, I burnt that ancestor money because they may be trying to guide you a specific way, all right? And you're not really catching on. You're not really getting the hints. You're not really, you know, getting the clues. Yeah, we got to try again. You're not really understanding what they're trying to say. The messages could be confusing, all right? The signs could be confusing for you guys all right so now it's like you're fighting with yourself you're you're trying to figure out what you should do all right what to spend your money on is this a good investment or not but spirit is saying you know with the you know with the help of yourself also with the help of this if you you know 
consent to receiving that good energy all right period um then you know it's a lot that will come in with the skeletons it's like for some of y'all it's things like like spending habits for some of y'all every time you go out you you gotta spend some money and that could be something you know that you may need to work on maybe it's like a budget every time you go out the most you spend is forty dollars all right or every time you go out and have fun you have a specific you know amount to spend as budget it's just time to start budgeting or you know when you when you go outside, even if I go in the store, I don't have to buy anything. If I need to get gas, okay, I'll get gas. I'll spend like $30 on gas, all right? But that'll be like the most, that, that that's it. Like, you know, I don't have to buy nothing at a restaurant. There's food at home for me to cook. There's food at home for me to eat, you know? Just starting to be more mindful about the habits and the things that you're spending money on. With this new line of study, yes, yeah, some of you guys could be getting into money manifestation or, you know, burning ancestor money. Money altars, ancestor altars as well. But also with this new line of study, it's just, you know, like I said, finding different ways to handle your money all right to help um build more okay i just heard build this empire so yes it's like some of y'all y'all got big dreams big goals but in order for this big cash flow to come into you you have to learn how to maintain it it's easy to make a lot of money but it's not easy to continuously you know have a lot of money it's easy to obtain but not maintain so i feel like you know this is what you guys need to work on when it comes to your finances any yeah this is new year all right new year so it's like some of y'all y'all birthday could be coming up but this is just you know something you know you know people say new year's resolution it's like a new year's resolution can start any day you know what i'm saying so it's like new mindset all right yeah with this new view here let's get uh some more holy spirit more messages around our finances and career Heal from this situation. Yeah, so whatever situation, um, some of y'all could have been spending money on like addictions or something because you were trying to heal from get get over or not even get over, but you know, excuse me, numb the pain from some situation. Spirit is saying it's time to heal from that. Also, you know, putting an end to whatever mindset you were taught um growing up. So if you if you grew up, you know, with a lot of money or stable or, you know, you have money. I'm hearing I got money to blow, getting it in. Yeah, you have money to blow, you know. You just, you had it like that is what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying, you know, be mindful of spending habits, all right? Is this necessary? Do I really need this? Or do I want this? Make a, a, a wants and a needs list is what I'm hearing. Also, um, you know, if you grew up with not so much money, you may have a tendency to not spend money and try to save everything. But you need money to make money, okay? It's an energy. It's a rotation thing. So you need to spend money as well, all right? All the money you spend comes back to you multiplied by 10. Put it in the comments. All the money I spend comes back to me multiplied by 10. I say amen. So it's, yeah, healing that mindset, with whatever it is, okay? Even if you grew up, you know, in poverty, you could have gotten, you could have made a lot of money on your own, all right? And now you feel like you need to show off or blow, blow it all off. And it's like, no, it's a balance is what I'm getting. We have winter here. Somebody could be born in the winter time. But I feel like, you know, Spirit is saying in the winter time, it's time for you to go behind the scenes and just, you know, stack your money, get your money up. Also, winter is, you know, death and rebirth. All right. So yeah, something about the winter time here. We have 11 months. Some of y'all need to make a vision board. Something about 11 months. We have Scorpio season. So for some of y'all, this is confirmation. Um, like your birthdays. But yeah, look, it's 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 ending season. It's time for rebirths with that death on the back of the deck. It's definitely time for a rebirth. Can I have one more? Thank you, the 18th. Okay, so yeah. 
wow, new career opportunities. So for some of you, this is this is time frames that this is coming in for you. Yeah, look, transformation on the back of the right under death. So something needs to end in order for you to transform. Yeah, these habits here. Or the people you are around. For some of y'all, y'all could have been trying to keep up with people. It's like, no, go at your own pace. Can I have four, please, Holy Spirit? Yeah, we got the two of swords here. Conflicted. Some of y'all, y'all could have always, you know, owed somebody some money or was in debt. I feel like that's being cleared up for you. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, four of cups rejecting something. Also, yeah, you don't always be aware every offer ain't a good offer. All right, yeah, seven of swords. Every offer isn't a good offer, and that's the truth here. Six of swords with the seven of swords. I mean, six of swords plus the ace of swords, that's the seven of swords twice. So 11, 11 on the phone. Be aware of, you know, doing anything for a dollar or taking the first opportunity. Make sure you weigh your options because, you know, you have a lot of opportunities. So it's going to be a lot of things coming towards you. Make sure that you make the best decision for you. All right. Also, trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Yeah, I just saw seven of cups. All right, read the fine print, fine details, ask as many questions as you need to ask. Eight of swords, yes, this is a lot of air energy. So it's in your head, you can be in your head about these options. Yeah, king of, king of swords. But I feel like, you know, you will make the right decision. Just don't overthink, okay? I'm getting to study long, study wrong. And even if you do uh, make the wrong move, you know, it's a lesson learned from that. And yeah, heal from that situation. Yeah, look, we got the six of wands here, but that also reminds me of the tower card. So it's like, yeah, you, you may be getting recognized for something, but it may be ulterior motives behind it. So just be aware of that, all right? Read the room, read the energies. Yeah, four of swords. Read the room, read the energy. Make sure that you know it, it ain't, you know, no no fraudulent activity is what I'm hearing. Yeah, look, abundance right on the back of the deck. No more laziness. Healing traumas. I can't make this up. Ancestors giving you gifts. What did I just say? If you consent to this. And look, don't don't try to consent now. Now that you've seen, you know, that I'm, I'm speaking real shit here. If you ain't did it in the beginning, don't be expecting nothing, okay? That's that's the energy I'm getting. <laughs> but um, yeah. <laughs> so yes, these are the gifts that's coming in for you. Some of y'all open a new business. Yes, as above, so below. Like I said, some of y'all, you know, don't. I don't know. Somebody on here. Uh, it's like ulterior motives as well be aware of your motives as well don't do something because of what you gonna get out of it you know look at everything be aware of like the overall it's like yeah this is a good opportunity for me but i'm not only doing it for me i'm doing it because you know this is what i want to do this is going to help a lot of people or whatever it is it's like just don't be selfish with it is what i'm hearing yeah manifestations coming soon with self-care here unlocking new gifts period let's get some archangel michael cards to end off the reading this career and finances reading holy spirit can i have four Period. Ask and you shall receive. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Like I said, trust your intuition. All right? And for some of y'all, you know, be aware because you may miss an opportunity. Okay? Yeah, prayer will help the situation. Make sure you pray about it. Talk to your ancestors about it before making a move. Go for it fearlessly. All right? Spend more time outdoors and sense of humor. So, yeah, like I said, you know, you may be manifesting money or a lot of this abundance, but God is very funny. All right? God is very, you know, hilarious. He's a, you know, he's a jokester. <laughs> okay? 
Also, yeah, these trickster spirits, be aware of trickster spirits, all right? Trickster spirits can be actual spirits in the spirit realm and, you know, people, humans. So, you know, once you pray about it, pray and know that, you know, pray that every opportunity that comes towards you is a good opportunity for you. Pray that, you know, any opportunity with any ill intent behind it, that somehow, some way it won't work out. Somehow, some way you won't be able to get there. Somehow, some way, whatever it is, if it's a bad opportunity for you, it just will not get to you. All right, so that you can move forward fearlessly. It's pretty saying spend more time outdoors, okay? Connect to nature. All right, get that fresh air. I'm hearing that prana, okay, period. And, you know, just laugh okay to heal from something laughing laughter is a healer okay one of these to end off the reading holy spirit thank you we have you can always rewrite the story yeah manifestations coming soon don't be afraid to sing don't be afraid to speak up and ask for what you want all right because you are the creator of your story, as long as it, it is along the lines of, you know, your life purpose, as long as it is good for you, as long as, you know, your ancestors approve, God approves, all right? As long as, you know, you're not hurting anybody, harming anybody, nobody is hurting or harming you, it will come to you and you just have to know and believe, all right? Some of y'all could be a singer, you're unlocking this new gift, these new talents, all right? Spirit is saying use these talents to make money as well. But that was the reading, y'all. I love y'all and I'm going to see y'all in another one. If you want to donate to the channel, that information will be down below in the description box. And yes, my Amazon wish list as well if you want to send some more cards to the channel. So, you know, let's help the channel grow. Make sure you hit that like button so this video may reach whoever it is for. Period. I love you.